Okay, which is better, blue tights or giant robots? I will be arguing with myself after the opening credits. Hello everyone, I'm Marshall Crook with the Wall Street Journal. I am a comic book movie fanatic. I think about Star Wars way too much, and I occasionally buy toys. So that's where I'm coming from. I'd like this to be the first of a weekly kind of pop culture, nerd culture conversation. So this week I want to talk about the things that I've kind of been obsessing about, particularly two trailers that came out this week, one for The Man of Steel and one for Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim is the giant uh, monsters versus robots Guillermo del Toro movie, and The Man of Steel is Zack Snyder's Superman movie. Both of these trailers I've been eagerly anticipating. Pacific Rim more so. I'm not a kaiju movie completist, but Godzilla vs. Biollante was on constant repeat when I was a kid. I played Ultraman on SNES uh, way too much. I think I beat it. I, I was one of those kids. So this movie I think is kind of perfectly calibrated for everything that I love. I never really cared much for Superman. I found him pretty one-dimensional um, and I was kind of burnt by Superman Returns, like probably like most of you were. Part of my love for this stuff is gauging my own anticipation, and for the sake of measuring my anticipation, you know, I have to be honest with myself about how I feel about things. Pacific Rim trailer just didn't work for me. But what did work is is the monsters. I think the monster designs are incredible, the scope, the scale, and I'm just tired of Transformers. And I know they're not Transformers, they're Jaegers, because that's what he's calling them. But they're Transformers, they're CGI gearboxes. It looks like everything Michael Bay has done. And I just, I kind of don't need to see Guillermo del Toro do that stuff. I want to see Guillermo del Toro do more smaller movies. Like Kronos, Devil's Backbone, Pan's Labyrinth. It's like the whole Peter Jackson Heavenly Creatures thing. Once you see what they can do with a smaller movie about people, you kind of want to see him do that. Zack Snyder, I have no interest in seeing him do a small character study because he's not that kind of filmmaker. You know, subtlety is not his thing. Which is why I was totally blown away by The Man of Steel because it seemed, it had emotion. It, I was actually moved by it. I talked to a couple people and they felt the same way. There was a tenderness, there was a vulnerability presenting this notion of what it means to be an alien, a true alien presence in a strange world. Like, that was awesome. I'm gonna see both of these movies. It's, it's gonna happen. But I have to admit to myself, I'm just not as excited for the new Guillermo del Toro movie as I am for the new Zack Snyder movie. And that's very strange. Just go crazy in the comments and tell me why I should be more excited for Pacific Rim and that I'm totally missing the point and that I'm not truly a fan. Tell me. I may agree with you. But yeah, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe to the Wall Street Journal YouTube channel, and hopefully I can do more of these, and we can have an actual conversation about the things that we love and are not willing to give up as we get older. All right, thank you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.